Hello. Good to see you. Yes. It was the moment that Peter the Great came to Amsterdam. That was the Amsterdam that he welcomed. I think it was here, eh? the, the ship yeah, of the right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. The, to the right, to the right, 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 yes. Yes, there's many of them. Yes, you haven't been here. Yes. No, I haven't. No, no. Of course, in these are not that this. A heartfelt welcome at the inauguration of the exhibition A Curious Tsar, Peter the Great and Discovering Nature's Secrets in Amsterdam. I can tell you from my personal experience that curiosity is rooted in inspiration. And that inspiration is highly contagious. When Paul Mostert suggested to me on Christmas Eve to join the Hermitage in organizing an exhibition on Peter the Great, the idea inspired me, challenged me, and <coughs> made me curious. Would we be able to complement the rich and lively exhibition concept of the Hermitage, and maybe even offer an extra eye-opener. And oh, would that old family rumor that Peter the Great had visited my father's birth house be true? First of all, thank you very much for you for coming here to celebrate Peter the Great. And great thanks to the library for remembering the date and arranging such a wonderful well, parallel to the exhibition which we are uh, doing in Hermitage Amsterdam. <coughs> uh, extremely precious because it's opened a special side of Peter's knowledge and life. And because I thought it's in your catalog the wonderful words of the curator that for Peter the Great, Amsterdam was a great Kunstkampf. It really was, and it's, it's an absolutely good formula to understand what, what it was for Peter. Great Kunstkammer, and that's why he enjoyed it so much, and I think it's still, Amsterdam is still a wonderful Kunstkammer for us. <laughs> for me, Director General of Russia State Library for Foreign Literature, it's an exceptional moment to be here, because we're celebrating a great event. Of course, in connection with Peter the Great, and Mr. Petrovsky has told how important it is for both countries. He was and he is the bridge between the cultures, between the countries. And I do hope that the event in connection with Peter the Great, in connection with different exhibitions, everything which is happening here, will help so that this continuation through centuries between Netherlands and Russia will continue. It's a pleasure and an honor for me to participate in the opening of an exhibition in this house of living books. An exhibition celebrating not only the relationship between countries and towns, but in particular a person who created this alliance, who opened the door to Europe and was leading his country into modernity. As a board member of the Bibliotheca Philosophica Hermetica, I want to express our thanks for the presence of our guests from Russia, and particularly for the words spoken by Mr. Piotrowski and Mr. Geneva. The presence of you, dear guests, are a confirmation of mutual understanding and passion over the years. 
a passion for the spiritual world and heritage of philosophers who were dedicated to the so-called golden chain of human existence, involved in the big questions, why am I here and what's the source of our existence? The Hermitage Amsterdam is very honored and pleased that the library accepted the challenge to organize an exhibition of this short term. That's really wonderful. And once more, it's proven that um, um, private organizations are, in a way, the best to challenge uh, uh, tasks and duties and, and wonderful things. Present a wonderful exhibition by Peter the Great with treasures from Russia. But real treasures are not just treasures in arts and jewelry and, and, and magnificent paintings. Real treasures are sometimes of another kind. And this library proves that once more. It's a wonderful little, wonderful specialist exhibition <coughs> here, and we're really, really proud that it's organized and that it's open today. And since this is a library, and since we published a catalog with the exhibition Hermitage Amsterdam, it's my honor to present the catalog to you to add to this library. The world, the universe, the man as a microcosm is the real secret of nature to be discovered. And uh, for, for us uh, in the Bibliotheca Philosophica and Medica, we always followed the curiosity of great philosophers uh, to read not only the book of nature, but to communicate uh, with the secret of life, to communicate with other human beings. This is a very rich moment to be connected with the Hermitage in St. Petersburg, to be connected with the Rudolfino Library, and also to be connected with the fantastic initiative to uh, create the Hermitage at the Amstel uh, in Amsterdam. So, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for your coming. We, we thank you for being here. Thank you very much. And the reason that Novikov was an educator, the publisher, the writer, is manifested in the past because the figure, the past of Novikov, is placed on books, on very big and thick books. And I'm afraid that there might not be any more, more appropriate place where to unveil the past of Novikov than Biblioteca Philosophica Hermetica. Please. The spirit of Russia was brought to Amsterdam, and the only thing what we can say, the gift of Russia today, and the, the connection that it has with the exhibition uh, in the Hermitage, also the heart of Amsterdam, makes us more, most, most happy. So Novikov, he had a message. He said, read, read and to read.